Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Real quick, when I say live, what I mean is I'm recording myself right now in real time, seeing information, seeing the data for the very first time. So to honor your time, if you are looking for a video where the person's got hindsight in their favor and they're doing a trade recap or something like that, this won't be a video for you. But if you are open to the idea of an unscripted nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader and how day trading can play out, I'm confident you'll find value in this video. So I will pause the recording software for now and I'll be back at market open. Have an order at 1750 here for a call. So need to see the price pull back a bit more here. In at 1750 out there, 50 bucks if you blinked, you missed it. So let's start the process over again at 15. Very, very fast scalp there. Like I said, if you blinked, you missed it. So that was literally $50 in about a second. Let's see, 1001, yeah. So a nice little opening first trade, sniper shot scalp. If this wants to pull back some more, I will be interested in uh, trying for another scalp uh, sniper shot there, but I will go ahead and pause. Okay, I have an order at 19 here. Okay, that was the move I was looking for, so let's go to 18 now. So this thing needs to come up a bit more looking to play a put. So I'm trading options for those of you that are maybe not familiar with what I'm doing here. So I trade stocks and options here. We're looking at options. And I'm gonna go to 17.50 now. And I will go ahead and pause and I'll keep you updated. Kevin okay, order at 16. Oh, so close. Let's try 15 now instead. And I'm at 15. In. Nope, I don't want 15. No! <sighs> Idiot. I, I don't know what happened. I Somehow I got off for break even. So let's try 1250 instead. There we go. In there. Very crazy right now. I'm gonna try for a couple more down here. Got those. So all out there, up 170 now. That was quite the move. Uh, let's change strike prices. Um, yeah. Let's see if this thing wants to get even crazier. That was a crazy move and I'm willing to play it, but I'm gonna change strike prices now to, there we go. So the reason why these just, let me just bring this up first. 
I apologize if I sound sniffly. I think, did I just say sniffly? I did. Um, these right here just change because I'm changing what's in the world of options to strike prices. So I just traded these ones. So notice how the prices change right there, but I'm changing. So that's why they're getting more expensive. Um, but what was a little crazy on that one was I got filled at 1250. Well, let me take a step back. That first trade, I got filled at 15 and then I just sold for 15. I, th I thought that was 1550 and I, you know, I'll have to scroll back. Would I have been okay or did I just luck out right there a little bit? I, I don't know. I think I would have been okay. I think I would have made a hundred bucks right there. Um, but then I readjusted to 1250 and 13. I'm not quite sure why I couldn't get out at 13. That was a little bizarre. Um, you, I would have thought that it would have snapped back up to, to get me out there and now what are these worth? I bet a lot more. Yeah. So I would have been okay at this point, but um, yeah, that was kind of bizarre. But uh, given my first entry point was um, you know, where it was, I felt very comfortable adding in another couple. Um, and then from there, you can see that it turned out just fine. Now, was I, you know, after I added in, was I gonna go for some sort of massive score? Uh, it was not, but uh, it still worked out just fine for 170, not, not too bad. I just got done with a podcast. So if you're not familiar, quick plug, I do offer a, a podcast, the Stock Trading Reality Podcast on Spotify, on iTunes. If you run a search for that, you'll see it. So I literally just finished uh, recording with a, a, a member and you know this move was uh, going on and then it really escalated there. But um, like I said, I'm glad I added where I did. I don't think I quite nailed the bottom and then turned out to have a nice little trade there to bring me up to, to 170. But well, we'll see if this craziness continues. If it does come down, I am interested around the 444 mark, which is, it is a ways away, right? Or excuse me, not 440. Uh, no, no, that is right. 444, looking over on the five minute. So yeah, it definitely a, a ways away. But if this, like I said, crazy move continues, then some potential there, but I'll go ahead and pause. Okay, I have an order at $19 here. In at 19. I keep flashing his best offer, but there we go. So a nice little $50 move and it's uh, actually 323. So, okay, I need to stop talking here. And we'll give it another try. Would be interested again down here at 445, but that was, uh, that was interesting. Multiple times flashed up as best offer and then uh, it, it took a while for me to get out. I thought I, I thought that was for sure going to be almost one of those, you know, two second trades. But <laughs> now, granted, it was like maybe ten seconds. But um, based on the entry point, it you know, one of those situations where I would not have thought it would have been that much of a challenge. But um, nonetheless, I'll still take the fifty dollars. And because of that though, I'm gonna be extra, extra stingy. So I'm gonna throw an order out there at 14, which I understand is super far away. Uh, but again, I'm just gonna be extra stingy with it. Um, and I may change, like I said, it's a bit of a, a guessing game when it comes to options. But like I said, if it does come down there, I'll uh, keep an eye on it. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up there for the day. Um, so up $220, not too bad. Um, and overall, what was that, three trade? No. Well, four trades, that one was that boneheaded one where I got in and then immediately sold for break even, uh, which was a mistake. But um, overall, I'll take it. Not too bad at all. Uh, just chipping away. And it's amazing how uh, you know modest gains do add up over time. So uh, if you enjoy these videos, if, uh, would like for me to continue to make these, please communicate by just doing two simple things. Hit the like button, leave a comment, say hi, type SPX, I, just anything. But by hitting the like button, con leaving a comment below, uh, that does communicate to me that you're enjoying. And as long as I know that you're enjoying, I will continue to uh, put the time and effort to make these live trade videos are they because they're not easy to make there's uh they're genuinely live so i have to think i have to type i have to enter in orders and you saw that uh today earlier on with that order i got and then sold immediately for break even so like i said if you do enjoy them uh, then like i said that communication is always uh, appreciated so thanks for hanging out and um all the best to you take care first off thanks so much for watching the entire video real quick before you go i want to invite you to a live webinar web class training workshop online event 
whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.